Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome. Please rise for the presentation of color by the Harris County High School, the RTC Color Guard, and the playing of the National Anthem. Thank you. You may be seated. This is a unique and proud moment for the class of 2020. 
have had to undergo many hardships in order to get to this milestone today. Graduation is an important event in their lives. They have worked long and hard, as have you. We want you to enjoy this occasion, but we ask you to respect others during the ceremony. Please refrain from noisemakers, loud noises, and yelling. These students, their family and friends, would like to hear the graduate's name when it is announced. We will give you the opportunity to express your pride and congratulations. Please remain respectful and honor this event. Thank you. We'd like to thank the board members for their continued support of Harris County High School. This morning joining us today is Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum Instruction, Dr. Dave Denny, and Celia Baker, Assistant Superintendent of Special Programs. Representing the Harris County Schools and many of these seniors attended are the following principals this morning. Ms. Ariane Secker from the Education Opportunity Center. Ms. Melissa Hayes, Harris County Carver Middle School. Ms. Wendy Snyder from Creekside Intermediate School. Also joining us today are distinguished teachers from Harris County High School, our counselors, assistant principals, as well as the family. We thank you all for being here today. At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce our honor graduates with distinction from the class of 2020. They've achieved a GPA of 3.75 and higher. If you are an honor graduate with distinction, please rise. Thank you. You may be seated. We'd also like to recognize our honor graduates who have maintained a GPA of 3.5 to 3.75. Will those students who have achieved honor graduate status please stand? Thank you. You may be seated. Good morning. My name is Jay Borden. As this year's uh, Harris County High School Teacher of the Year, it is my distinct honor and privilege to stand before you today to introduce our next two speakers. Our salutatorian will address you first, and we're uh, glad to have Miss Natalie Hutchinson to come speak to you, followed by our valedictorian, who this year is Miss Aisha Patel. Good morning, everyone. Wow, look at us. Who would have thought? Certainly not me, but here we are. Well, most of us. One thing I have realized over the past few months is that when you reach the end in the way that we did, it's easy to focus on the what have. I would have played to the point my legs would have fallen off during my last soccer game. I would have wanted to take in all of the chaos of the class chain before I had to run from the end of B Hall to the end of H Hall. I would have said goodbye one last time to my friends and teachers who have shaken me into the person today. Instead of settling down in the woodhouse, take a step back and remember to enjoy every moment in the present because you never know if that moment you just had would be your last. Um, in the words of Benjamin Franklin, there are three things certain in life. Taxes, change of school, and schedule of the year. To build off of that, the only thing we know about the future is that it is unknown. Since the closure of school on March 19th, many things have happened that have been out of our control. However, we as a human race have shown that we have the capability to adapt to new scenarios. Not only have we overcome the challenges of high school, but we are being thrown out into a world full of challenges. The discussion of equal rights, our next president, and how to combat the pandemic have all been issues thrown at us over the last few months. In May, during our virtual graduation, I each might ask you all to go out in the world and make use of access to social media to promote change for a better society. It is very uplifting to look around and see so many doing just that and standing up for their beliefs. By starting conversations, we are able to share our personal knowledge. Sharing is just as important as receiving because without sharing, knowledge has no value. As some have said, it is remarkable to be able to look around and see history changing before your eyes. 
When I look back in 20 years, I will remember the class of 2020 who took what's handed to them and made the most out of an important situation. Future months and years will never be the same. Some of us are headed off to college where classes will be mostly online. Some of us have already left to join the military and cannot be here with us today. And some of us are going out into the workforce. No matter where we are going, we will all be forced to interact with a wide range of individuals. Everyone is always going to have an opinion of you. Some individuals will be there to lift you up and push you towards success. Others will try to make excuses for your success and tear you down. However, there are over 7 billion people in the world, and about 328.2 million of those individuals live in America alone. So when you think about the opinion of one person of you, it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Instead, strive to be your best self and prove the others wrong. Finally, I want to take this time to thank all the faculty and staff here today who went to all this trouble just to get a class of 2020 a proper sent off into the world. Please join me now in a round of applause for these individuals. As I said in the beginning, none of us really know what our reality will look like a year from now or 10 years from now. So continue to live the moment. As a wise friend once told me, never live a life full of regret. So go after what you want in life and don't let anyone hold you back. And in the words of Ms. Alamo, that's it, that's all. Good morning, parents, family, and teachers. And most importantly, good morning, graduates. To those of you who look like how I'm feeling right now, I'm not a morning person either. But we're here to walk on this field and bask in this moment we worked so hard to earn. Traditionally, I'm here to recount our high school memories and inspire our journeys ahead. I will accomplish these a little differently, but I want to emphasize the word our, because sadly, we weren't able to be here together. But we are still Harris County's graduating class of 2020. Even though we may not know each other that well, I know we feel a sense of unity among us. My high school memories don't speak for those each of you have made here. My memories are mostly due to my unruly weakness of procrastination and my unprecedented love for that. But it isn't my experience I want to tell today. I want you guys to think about some of your happiest and proudest moments to keep with you from high school, even if only for today. Whether it be a small joke from class, hanging out after school, or just a time where you felt accomplished or successful about anything these past four years. Maybe even a favorite teacher or administrator that seemed to always be there for you. A club trip that inspired your teacher, or a bus ride home from a winning game. Remember your time here, but don't let these moments define your future. These moments have the capacity to hold much about who you define yourself as, but you are likely to change and create more lasting memories as you move into the real world. Stay uncertain and stay curious. It's okay to change and reinvent yourself. It's okay to make mistakes and learn from them. So all I'm trying to say is, be ever so resilient in your endeavor to seek happiness. Whichever way your journey takes you, each of you deserves to be happy. From the virtual ceremony to where we're at now, I have to say I've seen some real growth among our class. Wherever you may fall on the spectrum, you've moved forward from our last time here together. Seeing classmates who join the armed forces and seeing others prepare their fall semester schedules or even planning to go abroad shows how we're not sitting here as fresh high school graduates. And it's been amazing seeing our class reaching towards their dreams. Thus, it's safe to say we're experiencing graduation a little differently. We're sitting here in the midst of our transitioning selves in a transitioning world. 
As many of you know, we're graduating in an election year. November 3rd, 2020 is the day we have a real opportunity to give our two cents about our future. We're not just a generation of TikTok and memes. We're a generation capable of changing our world for the better. But I want to know who put the muffins in the freezer. Anyways, as Maya Angelou said, do the best you can until you know better, then when you know better, do better. So we need to learn to do better so we can truly be better. First, learn to be kinder to yourself. Give yourself a break when you need it because you'll be better for it. Learn to be kinder to the environment. Try your best to be sustainable and protect our home for future generations. And most importantly, learn to be kinder to others. Don't let harmful societal constructs justify any sort of hate against any gender, race, religion, socioeconomic status, sexual orientation, or disability. How can we move forward together if we don't see each other as equals? As our generation wants to play, don't be a hater. As we move closer to finally holding the piece of paper we came here for, I'm thankful for the teachers for giving me the opportunity to be here. And finally, thank you graduates for being, making this moment special, special. Remember the responsibility we have to our communities and to the world. See you later, class of 2020. It's time we start to change this world needs. Class of 2020, you are in an incredibly unique situation. And I want to be sure that we take this moment for you to realize uh, how special this is. It's been a while since we've been on this field graduating. And it's an unbelievable honor, I believe, to have the opportunity to do it. Even if the reason we're having to is not the best of the world. But it comes to mind today that many of you, when you were younger, you started school in Harris County. You, know, you had an opportunity to get to know Danny Durham. And you're the first class, and maybe the last class, to graduate on Durham Field. I want you to remember how special that is. And then one other thing. Although I hope we're going to have many more, I know for sure that this is number 19. If you want to have the pleasure of having Laura Jackson call out your name. So let's give her a round of applause before she gets started. Thank you, Ms. Jackson. As superintendent of the Harris County School System, I hereby declare that those students receiving diplomas today have met the requirements of the Harris County Board of Education and the state of Georgia. It is my pleasure to congratulate the wonderful class. 
his name called. Kamari Josiah Adams, Michaela Rose Atkins, Brady James Anderson, honor graduate with distinction, Grayson May Angel, honor graduate with distinction. Justin James Arnett, grad, honor graduate with distinction. Malika Arletzia Atkinson. Zachary Justin Altery, honor graduate. Austin Garrett Avery. Madison Fishburn Baker. Honor graduate with distinction. Jalen Dayon Barberhurst. Catherine Grace Bearfield. John David Barfield. Honor graduate with distinction. Sierra Jean Barnes, honor graduate with distinction. Chase Samuel Barnett, honor graduate with distinction. Ian Kiyoshi Morgan Baum. Destiny Dawn Beckham. Tiara Liz Benjamin, Benjamin Molina. Kadri Jane Bishop, honor graduate with distinction. John Dalton Blizzard. Michaela Rose Vargas, honor graduate with distinction. Sarah Elizabeth Bowling. Deasia Kiana Shalom Bowen. Elise Victoria Gray, honor graduate with distinction. Emily Michelle Bradley. Kendrell Bernard Gray. Tabori Malik Bridges. Jonathan Ward Brooks, honor graduate with distinction. Rodney Keith Brooks. Gabriella Rose Brown. James Caleb Brown, honor graduate. Catherine Lauren Bruce, honor graduate with distinction. Sarah Lynn Bullock, 
on a graduate with distinction. Jane Zachary James Bullock, honor graduate with distinction. Caitlin Elizabeth Burdett, honor graduate with distinction. Henley Noel Byers, honor graduate with distinction. Lexi Nicole Cameron. Tucker Allen Carlisle, honor graduate with distinction. Ethan Michael Carnley, Austin Daniel Carr. Michelle Elizabeth Carter. Olivia Brooke Carter, honor graduate. James Dennis Chambers. Melissa Marie Champion, honor graduate with distinction. Ty Dalton Chapman. Zachary Alexander Coker, honor graduate with distinction. Troy William Coates, honor graduate with distinction. Charles James Otto II, honor graduate. Jacob Haven Cox, honor graduate with distinction. Zach Adam Daniel. Bryson Walker Dancy. Emma Grace Davis, honor graduate with distinction. Kristen Treasure Benson. Savannah Lynn Du, honor graduate with distinction. Katie Brooke Dowry, honor graduate with distinction. Lillian Nicole Duke, honor graduate with distinction. Alexander Lee Dumas. Colby Patrick Dumas, honor graduate. Haley Marie Dumont.
Savannah Lynn Dunn, honor graduate with distinction. Julie Juanita Michelle Eaton, honor graduate. Leanna Lane Eddington. James Blake Edwards, honor graduate. Grace Elise Marguerite Ellis, honor graduate with distinction. Hayden Daniel Ernest, honor graduate. Alexis Juliana Everson, honor graduate with distinction. Blake Dale Everson, honor graduate. Sydney Faith Franks. Janiah Ayana Frierson. Tucker Cannon Gallatin, honor graduate with distinction. Aaron Luke Garner, honor graduate. Spencer Shane Gazaway, honor graduate with distinction. Clay Walter Ginn, honor graduate with distinction. Cameron Aliyah Tene Franklin. Cole Wilson Ginn. Honor graduate with distinction. Haley J. Gibson Danner, honor graduate with distinction. Andrew Christopher Gagne, honor graduate with distinction. Brianna Guadalupe Gonzalez, honor graduate. Madison Lynn Goodson. Robert Gabriel Goosey, honor graduate with distinction. Kaylee Georgia Griswell, honor graduate with distinction.
Taylor Ashton Isabella Hartfield, honor graduate with distinction. Angel Marie Hardeman. Maya Denisha Harris. Jamara Keon Hayes, honor graduate with distinction. Audrey Arlene Haynes. Brandon Keith Haynes, honor graduate. Howell Barry Henderson. Leticia Yvonne Henderson. Zachary Evan Hewell. Hunter Quinn Liam Higgins, honor graduate with distinction. Kobe Blayton Hill. Sana Ariana Hoffler. Jaron Isaiah. Healing. Yasmin Latia LaShawn Healing, honor graduate. Jeremy Allen Hunt. Natalie Renee Hutchinson. Honor graduate with distinction. Daniel Tony Ingram. Elizabeth Ann Jackson. Ian Christopher Jackson, honor graduate with distinction. Janiah Tierra Johnson, honor graduate. Callie Megan Johnson. Michael Chase Johnson. Alexis Victoria Jordan. Jake Austin Jordan, honor graduate with distinction.
Skyler Nicole Calhoun. Zoe Alexis Carwick. Victoria Lynn Hendrick, honor graduate with distinction. Hayden Well Killingsworth, honor graduate with distinction. Nathan Allen Hicks. Cody Lee Knight, honor graduate with distinction. Benjamin Daniel Knox. Manav Kapesh Kotaria. Stefan Alexander Kolowski, honor graduate. Hannah Helen Kraft, honor graduate with distinction. Jane Rose Kitchenmeister, honor graduate with distinction. Hannah Lee Keylor, honor graduate with distinction. Kevin Alexander Lacey, honor graduate with distinction. Tyler Earl Lawrence. Gavin Bain Lee. Memphis Cole Lee. Andrea Grace Ligon, honor graduate. Nakiana Ladanye Talia Lilly, honor graduate. Destiny Michaela Arlicia Lindsay. Xavier Alexander Lindsay. Carly Olivia Lau, honor graduate. Charity Danielle Love, honor graduate with distinction. Cassidy Michelle Love. Honor graduate with distinction. Mariana Lee Luca. Honor graduate with distinction. Now, 
as graduates of Harris County High, we would like to continue the tradition of honoring our school. Please rise. And join us in the singing of the alma mater. The words of the alma mater are on your program.